Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. We now know what is making several dairy cows sick in the Southern Plains, and now there are efforts to try and control it. As we first told you yesterday morning, public health officials have determined the cattle were sickened with highly pathogenic avian influenza, commonly known as bird flu. Farm Journal's Tyne Morgan is continuing to dig into this with a look at how experts were able to piece this mystery together. There's been four dairies that have had uh, samples test positive for avian influenza. Dr. Fred Gingrich is the executive director of the American Association of Bovine Practitioners, the largest cattle veterinary association in the U.S. Gingrich says three of the positive samples were from unpasteurized milk samples in Kansas and Texas. We have a lactating dairy cattle and primarily uh, lactation to and over is what's been reported. There have not been any reports thus far of it in uh, young stock heifers. And we have also not had any reports in any beef herbs. Gingrich says the reported symptoms in Texas, Kansas, and New Mexico include cows simply quit eating and milk production declines about 20% for at least three weeks. After that, the herd returns to 95 to 97% of previous production. Other symptoms previously reported in some herds also include mastitis and colostrum like milk. Right now, the main symptoms appear to be the same. What we don't know, since this is the first time that avian influenza has been identified in a cow, we don't know if the symptoms are directly tied to the virus. What we know is that we have some symptoms. We have a disease event. and We have identified a virus in four uh, samples. So now the investigation is ongoing, trying to tie it all together. Avian influenza has taken a toll on the U.S. poultry industry, with more than 80 million birds in the U.S. depopulated to control the disease in commercial poultry flocks. But so far in dairy, it's different. In cattle, mortalities or cattle deaths appear to be zero. We don't have any reports of cattle directly dying from this disease. As the industry continues to search for answers, including the scope of the illness today, Gingrich says AABP is diligently working to help find answers. Well, food safety is an incredible uh, part of what a cattle veterinarian does. We want to ensure that the products that we work with our farmers are safe to eat, safe to drink. I'm a consumer of beef and dairy products every day. The good news is, is that this virus, like many viruses, is destroyed by heat. And so cooking beef to the appropriate temperature or only consuming pasteurized milk remains safe. All right, thanks, Ty. Now, Gingrich's advice for dairy producers is if you notice a sudden drop in appetite or milk production, immediately call your veterinarian. And if you're a veterinarian, he advises them to be aggressive with diagnostics. He says the investigation is ongoing and producers and vets need to continue to work with diagnostic labs and state animal health officials on this topic.